Howdy do, neighbor. This is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. Today we got one that came by way of a fella named James from Lakeside, California. He sent me so much stuff I couldn't even tell you. Thank you again. Hopefully he sends more. I'm getting low. Um, <laughs> this is Indomie from Turkey like the country of Turkey. I'm not adding Turkey, but this is a chicken flavor. This is uh, ta Tavuk Arumali Hazir noodle. Chicken flavor. The basic chicken flavor noodle comes with a stylish folding fork. Let's delve into the mystery of the folding fork. I really don't think I've had many Indomie varieties that I've disliked. Fork. We got a couple sachets, they both go in. So this one is a uh, TVP. TVP is textured vegetable protein. It's made from soybean, and basically it's supposed to be like little pretend meaty bits. Um, generally my thought on ones that steep, just kind of an affectation, not necessary. Let's pretend we have meat in here. This is what we can pretend. And I don't always like to think. I'm not always interested in being in the land of make-believe, but sometimes it's, it's cool. We'll see if this is one of those times. So the big news that I was alluding to on the last episode is uh, basically yesterday we got to say happy indictment day again. Our uh, former orange guy got indicted again in Georgia. Deservedly so. Yeah, he, uh, but he's getting RICO charges. Dude, that's... <laughs> I did everything perfect. You did everything perfect, but you got indicted four times. They're just out to get me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That many times, I think most people, even the craziest of people, would probably be thinking... Yeah, it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck. Yeah, you probably got to indict him because he did something wrong. I don't know. There's still holdouts. That's another thing about the news, though. They like to show the most extreme things, the things that are going to keep you watching. It's a show. I mean, and, and like news anchors, they're actors. I'm surprised that we actually have news right now because of the SAG strike, because they're actors. They're, they might have worked in journalism up to the point that they found, hey, you, you do way better on presenting than your stories. You can do some human interest pieces, some fluff pieces, but we want you in front of the camera. You deliver well, you know, and you gotta have people to do that. But it really technically is an acting role. So, they might have a little more understanding of the part that they play than, say, an actor might. An actor might be a hard-hitting cop and a grungy blah, 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 do 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 But uh, the, the anchors that I see a lot of the time are really, you know, like local news, mm, not so much. But like national news, they're like more ingrained into it. I like the foreign correspondents, though. Those guys, God, what's his name? Richard Engel. This guy, he they send this poor son of a bitch to, like, the worst areas in the world. And he just, like, yeah, there's shelling going on right now. And uh, <laughs> it's just like, where are you tomorrow? Oh, I'm going to be in this country. Yeah, there's a famine here. And there's all this. It's like, wow. 
guy saw has seen a lot of crazy business. Yeah. Foreign correspondent, yeah, you gotta give them, give them props at least, but. Too low, too high, where's the line? It's a noodle. I think I might add a pepper on this. It's chicken flavor. I don't have. I do have chicken. I just didn't cook any. I might use some chicken in the next one. We'll see. All right. I've got some chicken left over from dinner. That's in my dinner that I'm gonna have tonight. I made curry. I made Madras curry with chicken. Used black uh, cardamom. And lots of nice veg. Elephant garlic noodle. Mm. Chicken noodle with some spicy notes. Brothy. About is what you would expect. A little more savory, depth of flavor. Yeah, I'm not using all of my my leftover dinner stuff for noodles. No way. Um, we can use egg in this. That's for certain. That's gonna leave me with one egg left. I don't know. I don't know if I can find a place for the last egg to go. But I really wanna make these eggs go away because they're at the end of their life cycle. what, a couple days ago? And the longer they sit in that marinade, the darker they get. going to be interesting. This is current with their uh, chapati masala from India. It's got multiple cooking methods. The one I'm going to use for the show you're going to see tomorrow will be you boil the noodle, you drain the noodle, you fry it in a pan with some stuff, 
and add in the seasoning base and stuff. So I'm curious how it's going to come out. Should be interesting. Anyways, this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoy Meteor Noodles each and every day. Like, subscribe really helps me out, like a lot. Have a good one. Bye-bye.